And I'm here to empower you and to encourage you that irrespective of what you're doing or how well you've missed the track or missed the road or how deep you could think you are in that sin or, or bad choices, you need to get to that point of turning around, of turning back or of looking back at so where you're coming from in, in, in relation to where you're going. Again, I say God is ready. God is ready to lift you. God is ready to deliver you. God is ready to heal you from that infirmity. God is ready to wipe away your tears. God is ready to help and to send help out unto you. God is ready to even surprise you. I want to say it again that God is ready to supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. Even more than what you can even think or imagine. God is ready. The word ready is, is a state of action. It's a state of action or activity that shows preparedness and availability. It's a word that connotes your availability or your determination or your state of preparedness to make a change, to make a shift. And why did I say God is ready? And that the, 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 the story of the prodigal son makes me to come to you to let you know that God is ready to receive you back home. No wonder the book of uh, the uh, the book of Revelation chapter three verse uh, verse twenty makes us to know that behold I stand at the door. This is God Himself talking here. Behold I stand at the door and knock. If anyone, if anyone say again, if any hears my voice and opens the door, I will I will come in. I will come into him. And dine with him, and he with me. That's Revelation verse three. I mean, chapter three, verse twenty. That is how, to show how ready God is to accept you back and to accept me back. The story of the prodigal son in the book of Luke chapter fifteen makes me to know this. It can only be the readiness of God to receive me and you back that can make a father whose son received an inheritance and left home almost immediately to squander it. It can only be God's readiness and his love towards me and you for a, a, a father to receive a, a son that has done what that prodigal son did and Receive him back with, with celebration. Uh, receive him back without asking questions. Receive him back without uh, looking at, at what he did. Receive him back without uh, meted his actions with punishment. It can only be the readiness of God. So therefore, in order for you to enjoy the readiness of that living God, for you to perpetuate that vision and the dream that God has put into your destiny, you have to get to that point of that readiness, that uh, the, uh, the readiness of God that linked with the readiness of that prodigal son. Bible makes me to know it that in the book, in, in the verse 18 of that same chapter of Luke 15, it says this son, this man, this particular man got to himself. He got to a point in life that he says, he, the Bible says he got to himself and declared that I will arise. That is the declaration. That is the, the level of the determination. He says, I will arise. I will arise. And I want to let you know that you need to arise from that slumber. You need to arise from, from, from uh, making the, the destiny of people that have been allocated to your destiny to continue waiting for your manifestation. You need to arise and take both steps to walk in that vision 
walk in that dream, walk in with that potential, the skill that God has given you, walk in it with the perfection of God's word that says it's knocking. It's ready, ever ready. The question is, are you ready? Are you ready to take the bold step that this prodigal son took? Are you ready to, 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 to determine within your heart that I will arise? He arose and left all that he was doing. He arose to, to fail to, uh, because at that point in time, he was ready to face the consequence. Whatever the daddy wants to tell him, whatever the punishment the daddy is going to give him, he was ready. Are you also ready? And before you can manifest in your glory, you need to be ready. You need to be ready. God bless you. As you enter this new month, I, I, I want to declare unto you that the month will bring the dividends and greatness that has been packaged as blessings shall bring it unto you as you are ready to take the bold step into the readiness of God and manifest because many lives are awaiting your manifestation.